Radio Friends on Friday, March 27th. I, I, I've, I've got two dynamic, <laughs> two dynamic ladies with me this morning. It's hard to keep them contained. <laughs> March, <laughs> March is uh, uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we have, and both of our guests have had serious brain injuries. Mm-hmm. And it's why it's so important for you to be here today to talk about this. Dina McPherson, Mizzou Therapy Service. Good to have you here, Dina. Thank you. And then we have Molly Dimicki. Thank you. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. Now, what is the message that you want to get across to our listeners and our viewers about brain injury awareness? Um, basically brain injuries can happen to anyone. Um, I never really played sports whenever I was younger and my accident happened whenever I was walking across the street. I got hit by a car. So brain injuries can happen. You don't think that they can happen to you, but they can. And what Um, happened? Um, a car hit me going about 40 miles an hour. Um, I was across Columbia in Columbia. Yes. Uh, right off Providence, where the Providence and Stewart intersection okay. is. Um, so my head busted the windshield, and then, according to the police reports, because I don't remember it, I flew up 20, over 30 feet, and I hit my head again on the asphalt whenever I landed in the lanes opposite. To You're lucky to be alive. Very, yes. So what did they do to you? So they took me, um, my friend from high school actually saw me in in the road and he went to the hospital. So they took me to the hospital. I was a level one trauma patient. My Glasgow coma scale was a three, uh, which I guess is the lowest that they can be. Um, They shaved my head and then they drilled a hole in my skull right here to relieve the brain of all the pressure from the bleed. You're fine now. Yeah, I still have lingering issues and I know I always will, but considering the traumatic incident that happened, I'm, I'm pretty good considering you two <laughs> are the two most uh, vibracious ladies that I've, vibracious <laughs> ladies I've met I mean, you were so full of life both of you are yep. so full of life and I think you're thankful to be alive yes yeah, yeah. That's yes. Why now Molly your brain injury occurred where in Laos not here in the United States no in Laos I had taken a world trip by myself so I by was yourself. traveling by myself and the taxi in Laos was in the back of a truck. That is a taxi there. So you could ride on the lower part or you could ride on the higher part. Of the some, truck. And you and, rode in the higher part. And I got up to the higher part and then I fell off and my the right side of my head hit the ground and then I rolled 20 foot down the hill slash mountain that the truck was driving up. Do you remember any of this? Nope, I do not. So you were knocked unconscious. <laughs> Yes, and the people that I had met two days before that were luckily Americans who, one of them had just graduated medical school in New York City, and her parents sent her on this trip, but they came down, they got me, they put me in the truck, took me to the hospital, and... In the same truck that you were riding and that you fell out of? Yeah, yeah, and she did everything she could medically to help me. However, Lau did not have the medical supplies they needed to really attend to what I did. So they contacted American Embassy, and within 34 hours, they contacted my family in America and had me um, air flighted to Thailand, to Bangkok. And because I had worked and I was planning on working in Bangkok, I think somehow with Facebook something, my old, my employer, Paul Mitchell, got me hooked up with the number two brain surgeon in Thailand. And he and did they, surgery on me. And they took out a piece of your brain, didn't they? Yeah, they, I had to get surgery on the left side of my brain. And so they took a tiny piece out right here. I don't know why. I think the swelling and everything. Basically, when they got me off the ground, I was bleeding out of everywhere I could bleed out of. But you're fine now. I'm fine now. That um, was nine months ago. And just nine months ago. Yeah. yeah and thanks to proper medical care and therapy, at Mizzou therapy is really what took me to the next level of just not being out of the hospital, but now I'm back in real life. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you are both absolutely fascinating. You really are. The fact that you, you've you lived this firsthand, what advice can you give to people listening to us right now? Ooh. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> accidents do happen. Obviously, they're accidents because you don't expect them to right. happen, but they do. But if you're um, riding your bicycle, wear a helmet. Wear a helmet, definitely, definitely wear and a helmet. And if you're riding a motorcycle, mm-hmm. wear a helmet. Now in Missouri, you, you, it's not a law anymore, is it? 
Mm, uh, they're, they're, I don't know. I know they've been discussing it. Well, I don't. I don't know. Okay, if, it's been if you're passed. riding a, if you're riding your motorcycle, you're riding a bicycle. Wear a helmet. Definitely. It can mean the difference between life and death. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know that. And yeah. crossing streets. Every time I drive down College Avenue, there are undergrads walking right across in the middle of the road, and it's like even you know mine was at a crosswalk. But the light changed as I was halfway through, and since it was dark, the driver didn't see me, mm -hmm. and so you just maintain speed. Do you so. feel that your accidents have given you a new lease on life? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, <laughs> did you have that same outgoing personality that you had before? That's hints traveling the world alone. Yes, I was <laughs> always very outgoing, but now appreciative of the smallest mm -hmm. things in life, and so appreciative and safe. Yeah. And because of her story, I'm sketchy of drivers, all mm -hmm. drivers. I just I yeah. want to be super careful. Okay, yeah. what, what do you appreciate most in life now, since you've both mm. been given a second chance? Ooh. The little things. Yes. The little things. Yeah. And I, it's difficult to describe, but just common, just like nice gestures that people do, things people will do for you or say. Um, I love where I work. I work for Mizzou Therapies now, yeah. and it's great because my former therapist is actually one of my coworkers. Yeah. And so it's it's great to be around people who help others, and mm -hmm. I think that's what I appreciate more is whenever others yep. will go out of their way to just do something nice, a kind gesture. So well, I'm so I'm, I'm so pleased that I got to meet uh, both of you. And I'm glad we you were in here at least still in March, even though we only have a few days <laughs> left. But yep. a March is Brain Injury Awareness Month. Yes. Get the word out. And the fact is that there is such wonderful therapy uh, mm -hmm. available now. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, looking at both of you, there is no way of knowing yep. that you were hinging on crossing over there yeah. very, very soon. Yep. Yep. You're both very blessed and fortunate. Very. It was divine intervention. Yep. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. If people want more information, where can they go and what's the phone number to call? Um, well, like I said, I work for Mizzou Therapy Services. I actually, my office is at the Neuro Clinic where mm -hmm. Rusk Rehab is, so it's off Business Loop. Um, 573-884-2642. Or you can simply go online and Google Mizzou Therapy. And Google yep, Mizzou. Yep. Ladies, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. It's my pleasure. Thank my you. Pleasure thank you. Both of you. Okay. <laughs> Out of time for today, Monday, Services for Independent Living. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Brendan McDermott. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. And if you would like to watch this segment, and you should, because they're both delightful <laughs> ladies, go to KBIA and you can watch the vodcast, kbia.org. See you. Bye bye.